Good morning. It is early. We are here at Fitness Culture. What we're doing today, we're shooting something very, very exciting. So this has been in the works. I've been dropping hints on my YouTube for the last year, but basically Fitness Culture, we have teamed up with Ultra Running Shoes to come out with one of the most exciting shoes in a while. Because I have fat feet and I was like, yo, Chris, my buddy Chris, who works at Ultra, it's like, you guys need to do a gym, a gym shoe because they do running shoes. Ultra is a running company and they're known for this really wide toe box. So I was like, let's do a gym shoe because he was sending me the running shoes. And I was like, I like these. Could you guys do something for the, the gym shoe? So we are in here today shooting for the world premiere of the Fitness Culture One Ultra training shoe. So we got Jake in here. We got Alex shooting behind the scenes. Woke up at the butt crack of dawn, but uh, super excited about this shoe. I'm gonna show it to you here in a minute. How's your morning been? It's been great. Let's see, let's see the shoes. Oh, this is the first look people are getting at them. I have them on here too, but I'm gonna go over them in a second. You like them? I love them. They're nice. They're great. Really. <laughs> we got Chris in the house. How's, uh, how's Colorado? Recently, Chris moved from Utah to Colorado because Ultra changed their headquarters. How is it? It's good. It's nice. We haven't been able to explore a lot yet, but it's nice being in the mountains. And is there a lot more hippies there? So many hippies. Boulder. Really? Have you been to Boulder? I haven't yet. Baker would love it. So Baker many would. vegans up Baker there. Doesn't, Baker doesn't smoke weed though. Is there a lot of weed smoking vegans? All over. I feel like that's like a, that's like a, I don't know. I, I guess I can't really say anything about that. If you like smoking weed and you live in Colorado, more power to you. If you're a vegan, more power to you. If you just like to lift up heavy things and put them down, like this guy over here, more power to you. I wanted to give you guys kind of behind the scenes first glance at this shoe. The shoe is going to be dropping September 10th. Um, it's been a long time coming. It's been about a year coming and we went back and forth on picking out the designs, the logos and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and take my shoe off. The biggest thing you'll notice when looking at an ultra shoe is the toe box. So the toe box is, is wide compared to most shoes and especially where the big toe's at. So if I was gonna compare this to some of my other, like my Nikes, you'll see that the Nike doesn't come out here. Um, it kind of just goes straight up. So it kind of creates your foot to do this rather than let those toes spread out. I have wide feet, but even if you don't have wide feet, you wanna let your, your, your toes, I guess, be like this rather than this, obviously. Um, the next thing is it's got a balanced sole. So front to back, all the same thickness. A lot of shoes have a higher have a higher sole, and that kind of causes uh, you know your foot to sit like this. This is going to be the same as like your Converse or your Van. So for me, I like training like that. I like doing my squats, I like doing my deadlifts, in, in a balanced sole. To me, it's it's just more like a, your natural foot. Um, and you can see it gets narrow where your foot gets narrow. So we call this foot shaped. It's not wide. It's foot shaped because that's where your foot gets narrow. So, and then obviously had to go with the Fitness Culture Blue. Black into that blue, Fitness Culture logo here. But I think it looks sick. I think we did a hell of a job. I think the people at Ultra did a hell of a job designing this shoe. We're only doing 1,200 of these. Like I said, they're dropping on the 12th. Or sorry, they're dropping on the 10th. I'm gonna go tie these bad boys up and get a workout. kind of crazy right now. You growing your hair out? What do you think, man? Ah! Jake's <laughs> had the same hair. Jake actually, his hair doesn't grow. He just, in the mirror every morning, he just says, hey, that's long enough for today, guys. And his hair just stops. I, it's either this haircut or shaved head. You did the shaved head. I actually did grow my hair out once. My hair grows really fast, actually. Yeah, in college it's you not did. True. Let's insert a picture right here of Jake with long hair. Oh, that's nice. That, yeah. was, that was shaved head, six month of growth. Do you think the girls liked long hair or short hair? Definitely short hair. Really? You like the clean cut, Jake? Yeah, I didn't look good. You look like a buff Channing Tatum, man. That's I didn't, right. look, I didn't good. look good. I didn't look good with long hair. Wasn't a good look. How are you liking the shoes For right this now? this jawline. <laughs> <laughs> How are you liking the shoes? 
Oh, I love the shoes. Jake actually wears ultras every single day. Every day. They're my favorite shoe. You can I got actually... fat Fred Flintstone feet. Oh, I just said that over there. I got Fred Flintstone feet. Oh, yeah. They're way too big. Mine are way too fat. This is the only shoe that actually fits your foot. It's wide here, but it comes like super narrow. So whenever I had wide shoes before, my feet would just slide all over. So if you guys want to be as strong as Jake, I literally wear these. would buy shoes. I find a shoe that I like and just buy five pairs. That is true. I can attest to and that. And I would only buy... How many pairs of Vans not, do you, I, I you did, have? I did, oh, I did like Vans, but those weren't really good for your foot. <laughs> those aren't really training shoes, nah. yeah. But I was like a shoe buyer like you, but only trying to find comfort. Oh, yeah. But now I just only wear these. I one, found of, them. one of these days, we're going to do a video of my, my shoe room. You can come over, man. You can check out my shoe room. Okay. I don't want to. <laughs> Jake can care less about that kind of stuff. But I will say, Jake does spend money on shoes because, again, it's about comfort. Jake likes having that, that nice shoe. So we'll see Jake in these every day. I want more of these. Yep. This is Baker's first real, like, real, well, with me, anyways. Planning the shots, getting specific angles. When we do YouTube, we just turn on the camera and go. I think I like about Baker, so put on, he'll put on weights. Thanks, man. I'm just kidding. I got it for you. Actually, want that one. You want this one? No, the other one. Oh, you want the other one? Oh, you want that one? Just the, it does. This is a clean-looking shoe from the top. The colors are good. Ready? Who picked the colors, Steve? Yours truly. Wait, did I or did you? You did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought maybe I was giving myself too much credit. Feet slightly pointed out. Oh, no warm-up sets, just how we like it. Let's go straight into it, Steve. Let's go. May as well do 10, right? I could do this all day, Bake. All right, good work, man. Good work, Alec. Got to pump up his confidence a little bit. Or shoot, you know? One day he's going to be directing movies. You guys, uh, this is Jess. She works at the front desk. Hello. She is taken by a very handsome, athletic, half Polynesian, half Samoan, like you don't want to mess with them. So don't even bother leaving a comment on here. Too bad, so sad. This is her boyfriend. We have Jess on the on my YouTube, and I know there's going to be comments, so I just want to introduce Brock as well. This is the man you're going to have to answer to. He's wearing an all-black shirt because he's an alternate on the all-blacks team this year. You know, you see that beard? <laughs> Look at his beard. Look into his eyes. Now back at his beard. Now to me. He will kill you. <laughs> All right. Wrapping up at the, here at the gym. We're going to go try to shoot at a car... Alex's been calling it a carport. Like a garage. Now I call it a carport. Because I'm Australian. You guys know that. We're going to go try to shoot at this parking garage. See how the lighting is. Hopefully get some epic stuff. Maybe some parkour. You guys know that little, little parkour. But uh, that's what we're doing right now. Good morning in here. I think I won the contest. But watching back, I might not have. We're going to have to roll back slow motion to count the reps. I love the fact that we're shooting this and we're still making it a competition. It has to just call us out if, if someone's not going all the way down. Okay? Three, two, one. And then it hit me. I think there's a vegan place close by that he might be. Baker, where are you? This is the all important chasing scene. So in any good movie, you have a good chase scene. This is the chase scene. We're gonna run through and then we're gonna do some parkour and it's gonna be pretty much like James Bond. One, two, three. Yo, where are we at right now? 
Pioneer Pirate Park, St. George, Utah. This is where everyone who just passes through St. George has to come and check out, because literally the city's right there. And we're gonna go for a run, and we're gonna be shooting the final scene of the video here. Just doing some running. These aren't trail running shoes, so we're not gonna be running on actual dirt. We are running on a sidewalk type surface. Because again, I wanna make sure it's clear. They're not trail running shoes. Ultra has trail running shoes. You warm up for this. You can hold this one. Hell yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah, we're going flat out. It's the only way we do it. Maybe. One, go. about 110 degrees out here. The flight deck on this is 10,000 feet. But uh, super excited about this shoe. I'm gonna show it to you. There's 100,000 streets in this city. You don't need to know the route. You give me a time and a place, and I'm yours, no matter what. Thank <laughs> you. 